This roster crunch is going to be tough. How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. So last week we checked out the crowded wide receiver room and the potential outlook of it. And today we're going to look at the just as crowded tight end room. So looking at the roster as it currently is, we have seven tight ends that are currently signed to the Packers, which have include Dominique Daphne, Tyler Davis, Josiah DeGuara, Mercedes Lewis, Elise Mack, Robert Tunyon, and Eli Wolf. So looking back at the Packers history and tight ends, Last year, they only kept four tight ends on the roster at the start of the season, and I expect them to keep four tight ends again this year on the start. Last year, the four tight ends that did make the roster was Robert Tunyon, Mercedes Lewis, Dominique Daphne, and Josiah DeGuara. But this year, we have a new upcomer in Tyler Davis, who is pushing for a roster spot and actually making this room a bit more crowded. The other tight ends in Elise Mack and Eli Wolf, I don't really expect to make the roster, especially with the other four or five tight ends ahead of them. So to start off, we are going to assume that Robert Tunyon will be ready for the start of the season, as both Robert Tunyon and the Green Bay Packers have been very highly optimistic that he will be ready come the regular season. But whether he comes back in week one or week six or week seven, he is going to account for a roster spot eventually and some decisions are going to have to be made. So to get the obvious out the way, Robert Tunyon is going to have a roster spot at tight end. He is essentially a lock, but what we will need out of him is the 2020 version of Robert Tunyon, who had 52 catches for 586 yards and 11 touchdowns and was a threat in the passing game. In 2021, he struggled early on in the season. He seemed to be getting back to 2020 Robert Tunyon before injury hit him against the Cardinals game. Going further down the list, Mercedes Lewis, he is going to have a roster spot at tight end. He is our best run blocker. He is a top 10 run blocker at the tight end position. And yes, he is 38, but he is a leader and one of Aaron Rodgers' favorite guys on the team. He's pretty much set to be on this team. So that leaves just two roster spots in the assumption that the Packers decide to only keep four tight ends between Daphne, DeGuara, and Davis. So starting with Josiah DeGuara, who I believe has the highest chance out of all three of these tight ends to make it, getting the third tight end roster spot. He's had a rocky first two seasons. Unfortunately, he did tear his ACL his rookie season in week five, where he was starting to show some type of promise as a rookie, and he went down, which cut his season short. And then last year, when the regular season finally started coming back from that ACL injury, he did sustain a concussion in week one. So he's had two injuries in two years. As the season went on, and especially with Rob Tunyon's injury taking him out for the year, he did see his role in the offense increase. Starting in week 10 and going forward, he was playing at least 25 snaps per game, and he had 19 of his 25 receptions during that time frame. So he was getting more acclimated with offense and he was being trusted more on offense. And with another year under his belt, if he stays healthy, I could see him playing an even bigger role in 2022, especially depending on Rob Tunyon's health and his availability at the start of the season. Also, he is that kind of H-back tight end. So Matt LaFleur likes having an H-back type of tight end, which he does satisfy. So I could see him getting more snaps especially at the fullback position where he could split out right or line in in line next to an offensive lineman at tight end. He's a player that can be moved around to try and deceive what we're trying to do and get the defense on the opposing side off balance. Which leads us to our last two tight ends that are vying for the fourth tight end spot if the Packers decide to go four. And that's between Daphne and Davis. And it's going to kind of come down to what the Packers feel like they need more. Daphne is more of like the backup to DeGuar. He satisfies that H back role a lot. And really all that's asked of him is his run blocking skill set. And he is a great run blocker. I believe PFF had him ranked six in run blocking tight ends. While compared to Tyler Davis, he was ranked 17th in run blocking for all, out of all tight ends tied with DeGuar. Now what Davis does supply though is He's shown flashes that he could be a receiving tight end. Last year, he only caught four balls out of five targets for 35 yards. So his sample size in the receiving area is very limited, but he did show some flashes that he could actually be a decent receiving tight end for us. 
He's also a very decent and willing run blocker. But also Tyler Davis was a late addition to this Packers roster. He didn't come to the end of September onto the roster from the Indianapolis Colts practice squad last year. While the other four tight ends I previously mentioned have been with the Packers for multiple years, so they're more acclimated with the offense. And despite that, as the year progressed, especially once again with Tunyon's ACL injury, he did see his snaps increase and play more of a role on offense. And now that Tyler Davis has a year under his belt and he's more acclimated with the Packers offense, we might be able to see more of Tyler Davis and who he really is. Because last year he said that he was pretty much studying all the time trying to understand the complexities of the Packers offense and he was still thinking instead of just playing. And also how the coaches are talking about Tyler Davis. I think he has a good chance of actually making this roster and Gaffney being a, ca a casualty if we don't keep five tight ends on the roster. Gutekunst has said about Tyler Davis that they picked him up early in the year and as his opportunities grew, not only in games but in practice, that he believes they have something special so he is very excited about that. And Matt LaFleur has also given him some praise saying he certainly made his mark on special teams and he's a guy he knows Rich was really excited about when we hired him as special teams coach. He's a guy that's going to give you great effort each and every snap and he can really run. And I believe that last part is what's going to earn him that roster spot over Daphne because he can contribute on special teams. But there's a lot of summer left. We still have training camp at the end of next month. Then we have the preseason and I feel like preseason is when we're going to find out who is who wants it. Is DeGuara looking like he's going to take the next step? Does Tyler Davis look like he's taking the next step? Is Daphne going to be able to have some pass catching ability? Because I feel like if he doesn't get some pass catching ability, he's going to get cut. I could be completely wrong, of course, but he could get cut unless they keep five tight ends. But let me know what you think down in the comments. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. And as always, go Pack Go!